This woman is not meant to stay in office for more than four years. Those from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, your exodus season has come. And whether the devil likes it, see, listen, the exodus season, the liberation season for the nation of St. Vincent, it's not about a political party, said the Lord. The liberation that is here for my children in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is not about a political agenda. But it's about the season and the intentions of God to demonstrate His grace and His power to bring out a people who have been in bondage and whose tears but most importantly the blood the voice in the blood of the innocent who have cried to me from the ground just as it were in the book of Genesis chapter 4 after Cain had slain Abel that the voice in the blood of Abel that was spilled on the earth by the wickedness and the heart of Cain, that voice cried to me, and I heard from the heaven, and I responded by marking Cain with eternal pain. He said, that type of cry has reached me. That is the season that is upon St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thus says the spirit of the living God, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Lord said, the ruling party, the opposition party, they are all the same. He said, if it were for me to pick a man amongst them, I cannot find one. The Lord said, I have tried them, I've weighed them, and I've found many wanting. St. Vincent, oh St. Vincent. I am not here to play politics with you. I am here to liberate and redeem. Redeem. Redeem the blood of the innocent that is upon the hands of the wicked. Thus says the spirit of the living God. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Lord said, the ruling party, the opposition party, they are all the same. He said, if it were for me to pick a man amongst them, I cannot find one. The Lord said, I have tried them, I've weighed them, and I've found many wanting. St. Vincent, oh St. Vincent. I am not here to play politics with you. I am here to liberate and redeem. Redeem. Redeem the blood of the innocent that is upon the hands of the wicked. The Lord said, You are not forgotten. Because I have, I have anointed one. But this one is not a man. This one I have anointed. I have placed the spirit of a thousand men in her. I have placed the spirit of a thousand men on her. If you will accept her, you will see my will done. This woman this woman, this woman is not meant to stay in office for more than four years. Please hear me. If she stays in office for more than four years, she will be worse. A, a spirit of Jezebel will enter her and what was meant for good, that spirit will turn it for evil. She's only meant to be in office for four years and on the fifth year, and over power to a man I would have raised through the four years of her rule. That way, he would have come out of training and ready for the next assignment. 
and I looked in the realms of the spirit and I said, who is this woman? And the Lord took me back to the revelations I had about the woman whose name was revealed in mysteries. Her identity was not revealed, but a name upon that identity was revealed. And the Lord said to me, This woman carried the grace and the name upon her called Veronica. Veronica. It was only lately we did, I did the research and I saw the meaning of the name Veronica. She who brings victory. Mashakatabaya. And the Lord said, In this vision I have anointed her like a David I've raised her to knock down Goliath she will be so she will be so anointed that even wickedness will see her and wickedness would have to would have to evacuate the Lord said this woman has nothing to lose and she has nothing to gain She's just there for an assignment. But she must not be there for more than four years. She cannot be there for more than four years. The Lord said, after four years, the fifth year, she must hand over power. In the month of May, of the fifth year of her being in office, the month of May, I have raised this woman. And then I asked the Lord, Lord, show me, who is this lady? And the Lord took me, the hand of the Lord took me in the spirit of the Lord to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And the Lord gave me a description. And thus was the description. This woman, the Lord said, she will not be accepted by both parties, both leading parties of that country meaning the current ruling party and the current main opposition party. And I said, Lord, why wouldn't she be accepted? The Lord told me and showed me that the current ruling party, they call her a traitor. They call her a traitor. Because why? She turned her back on them. And then the Lord showed me about the main opposition party. And the Lord said, they will not accept her because they still see her as part of the ruling party. They don't see her as one of, of theirs. But the Lord said, she is my chosen one. The Lord took me in the realms of the spirit. That there was a plan that this woman had in Canada or for Canada. There were some plans that the intentions of her heart for North America. But the Lord frustrated those plans for a time as this. The Lord told me that he has he kept this woman in the wilderness for such a long time. The Lord said that she has woman. If you are listening to me right now. In secret you have cried. In secret you have been beating yourself up because there's been this burden and stone in your heart. And you've been asking yourself, having had sleepless and restless nights, what is this purpose? You've, it, you've known there's been a staring up in your heart for a long time, especially the last six months. You could not rest. You've had no peace. And you've been asking. You've been asking. You've been asking. What am I meant to do? You've, you've been looking around. You know there's an assignment. But you didn't know what it was. The Lord said you never thought about leading the country. But he said I am. I, 
poured oil upon your head to be the prime minister of St. Vincent who will liberate the people. Vincentians, oh Vincentians, thus says the spirit of the living and the most high God. This woman is already in your midst. I have given her a voice. I have given her a bell. She is crying, but no one is listening. But St. Vincent, oh St. Vincent, if you hear the word of the prophet, your liberation lies in the hands of that woman and your oil is upon her head. 